What's good? What's good? Welcome back to Invest and Trade with Jax. Good early afternoon from Canada. So a little bit of a dumpy dump yesterday. <laughs> we're getting a little bit excited. Look like we're going to see a bounce. So Bitcoin is basically hanging on by a thread. I was eating my sourdough with almond butter and coconut oil because I'm healthy like that. And I was thinking about what to title the video because I always talk about Bitcoin. And it came to my mind that I would put, I would put the last stand for Bitcoin. I'm like, oh, Jackson, you're so creative. Oh, thank you, Ken. So you're welcome. Anyways, guys, let's get into Polygon. Currently, we're sitting at 192. We're down 14% in the last 24 hours. We're sitting at a market cap of 14.03 billion. 24-hour volume, 1.91 billion. Don't worry, guys. Um, there's a lot of bullish indicators. I know we're in a bit of a downtrend, but you always have bounces along the way. And that's where we make money with our dollar cost average strategy. <laughs> I think I started making my video. I didn't let my food digest long enough because I feel a little bit weird. Anyways, guys, if you're new to crypto.com, you can sign up to the world's fastest crypto growing app, a little drink of water. And you can grab one of the incredible Visa cards for cashback and crypto, free Spotify, Netflix, Prime travel incentives, depending on the level of card that you have, $25 just for signing up through my referral. Okay, we're all good. Let's hop into Matic. All right, let's hop into Matic. Here we are, guys, on the one hour time frame. So yes, we did dump a little bit here. We had our second entry at 215, and we've come all the way down to our third entry at 192, which is great, guys. We now have more money in our trade. Just gonna quickly turn up my screen brightness. And we have some bullish divergences here. We created lower lows, we're creating higher lows on the one hour RSI, which can signify early indicator that the bears are running out of strength. And we can see a nice push as well as the money flow in the floor here. Let's pop over to the four hour time frame. All right, guys, here we are on the four hours. So we met our technical target of our double top pattern here. And we've actually lost this level of support. You can see resistance here is support in this area. Um, but I have, a I have a feeling we may come back above it and hold it as support. As you can see, we have a beautiful bullish divergence on the four hour time frame as well. Lower low, higher low, as well as on the money flow. So we see it on the one hour, we see it on the four hour, which is more confluence that the bears are running out of strength. I mean, this was a pretty significant sell off in just a couple days. And usually that's followed by a nice bounce, guys. Of course, we can come lower, always a possibility, but that's why we have our buy zone set up, our next one here at 151. Now there is a bearish pattern. Let me show it to you here on the daily. And it's a head and shoulders. I'm just gonna quickly take this out. So this was our ascending triangle we broke down. So what you can do is measure the body, we broke down from quite a few ascending triangles, one for Ethereum, one for Bitcoin as well. And you can see we met the target perfectly from that ascending triangle. So we do have a bearish pattern, guys. It's a head and shoulders. Here's your left shoulder, here's your head, and here is your right shoulder. And we've just started to break the neckline. So here's your neckline, guys. I know it's a bit hard to see. Hopefully it's visible enough for you guys. You take your measurement from the bottom of your neckline up to the top of your pattern and you take it to your point. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry, guys. And you take it to your point of breakout. Oh, my God, Jax. You are absolutely embarrassing yourself. Take it to your point of breakout, which is right here. And it could bring you all the way back down to about $1.42. Now, I did talk about that consolidation. But if we lose $1.95, that's when we have to start targeting lower price targets like the golden ratio, which is coming in here at about $1.54. So just watch for that, guys. I Honestly, I think we'll bounce before then and be able to take some profits before we were to roll over or at least push back up to retest this neckline coming in about $2.11. Um, the money flows in the floor as well as the RSI is coming very, very close to oversold. But guys, we have broken out of our ascending channel. So if we can't get back above into the channel, if we come back and we hit this line as resistance coming in about 225 and we roll, the technical target is all the way down here. And of course, Bitcoin would have to go to 28K if we're gonna see uh, Matic come all the way down to 64 cents. But it's perfectly okay, guys. If we come down, we're dollar cost averaging. We do a little something like this. We bounce, we come down, we bounce, we come down. We dollar cost average, dollar cost average, dollar cost average. We sell, we sell, we sell. And we repeat the process, all right, guys? Beautiful thing about this strategy. No matter we're in a bull market or a bear market, we're making money. It's almost better to be in a bear market because you hit more of your buy zone, so you get more money into your trade. 
All right, guys, so we're here with Ethereum. You can see we broke down from this ascending trying, uh, trying, <laughs> this ascending triangle. Wow, that was super embarrassing. I can't believe I did that. Maybe I'll edit it out of the video. Uh, we broke down and your target is all the way here at the 0 0.5 at 2711. You can see that was met perfectly. Now we do have a wick down and we push back up, which can be an indicator that the bulls are running or the bears are running out of the strength because the bulls push the price right back up which means there were a lot of buy orders in that area but we have broken down from this descending channel so we are hanging on by a thread this is our strong level of support for ethereum if we lose this level we start to break below it and we back test it as resistance that's what i'm going to call for a bear market for ethereum we do this we hit resistance we come down that would be a bear market for ethereum in my opinion but in my opinion if that's going to happen i think we're going to do something like this uh come on jacks where we come down we bounce and we hit resistance and then we come back down or even higher like have a dead we haven't had a dead cat bounce yet right so we come down we bounce create a dead cat bounce and then get, go lower if we are going to go into a bear market i mean I don't want to get into politics, but the American economy is tanking right now under, you know, Sleepy Joe. Um, I don't want to get into that. But of course, that affects the crypto markets as well. So let's so if we do bounce here, I would watch 3281 as resistance. We may see a nice push back up to that level. You can see the strong support in this area. Let's look at Bitcoin, guys. Here is BTC. So we have the falling wedge. We've lost 40K, which is relatively bearish we need to get back above it within the next few days definitely before the weekly close we are still in this falling wedge pattern we've come down to the level of support as well as this support here at 38k so we would need to bounce from this level in my opinion to remain bullish or to be in any kind of uptrend especially on the weekly because we've lost the daily uptrend we've lost this level of support if we stay underneath it, then we're confirming the downtrend and we're confirming the bear market. We're very, very oversold on the RSI on the daily. The last time we were oversold is when we wicked down here. And you know what that was followed by, guys, from a from the bottom of our wick up to the top of this green candle, you're looking at a 40% rally for Bitcoin, which is of course a massive rally for the alts. So we're very, very oversold, as well as we have a bullish divergence, lower lows, higher lows slightly on the money flow, guys. And we haven't created that dead cat bounce for Bitcoin. You can see we've come down, but we're yet to have our dead cat bounce. And I'm gonna show you guys the previous bear markets on the weekly time frame but first of course i want to show you guys our wyckoff accumulation we have we have lost that 40k level of support which is relatively bearish guys if, if we start to come up and hit it as resistance and we don't break through and get back above 40k we start to roll that's a confirmation of the bear market so just something to keep in mind and if we pop over to the weekly time frame guys here's the weekly hopefully we can see everything yeah it looks all right so on the weekly time frame, if we close below about 40K, in my opinion, see these wicks here, these wicks here, as well as these wicks, um, that would be confirmation as well. If we have a weekly close below 40K, we're confirming the bear market, in my opinion, especially if we go into the next week and we don't get back above 40K, then I would think bear market for sure. So what I want to show you guys is the previous bear market. So we're on the weekly time frame. We're going to close the RSI, and we're gonna go back. Here's 2017, 2018. So we sold off, correction, 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 and then we had our dead cat bounce. We wicked down, let me open this up. You can see right here we wicked down and then we had our dead cat bounce. So we had a correction here from the top to the bottom, about 50, 60%, and then we had our dead cat bounce. That brought us up about 50%. Ignoring this wick, if you if you include this wick down, then we had a bounce here of about 88%, but of course your correction is deeper. If you count that wick, about a 68-7% correction. So if we go to current, actually we can show you the 2013 bull run as well. So here's 2013, guys. So you can see we sold off, we sold off, and then we saw our dead cat bounce. We came down, we bounced again, right? Because it works in waves, but we're yet to see our dead cat bounce. If we are going to go into a bear market, guys, then we should see a dead cat bounce and then roll into our bear market from the top to the bottom. Currently, we're at about a 45% correction. So of course, we can go a little bit lower, but eventually you're going to see a nice dead cat bounce and then confirm and go into the bear market. Or if we're gonna remain bullish, then we break key levels of resistance, we come up and we break this high, 
and we see continuation back to the upside. Like I always remind you guys, it doesn't just go straight down, guys. It works in waves, just like this dead cat bounce, come lower, bounce, come lower, bounce, come lower. And if the bear scenario were to play out and we were to go into a bear market, we should find support here along the 55 EMA on the monthly. Currently it's coming in at about 22K, but of course it will take time for us to come down. Because as you can see in every previous bear market, where did we find support along the 55 EMA? Here as well, you can't quite see it but we found support along the 55 EMA. So if we were to go into a bear market, guys, I think our low would be in between 24 to 25K, which is above the previous bull run high, which came in about 19K. As you can see, if we go back to the 2013 bull run, our bear market bottom was substantially higher than the previous bull run's peak. And I think we will see that again if we were to go into a bear market. I think we'd probably find support around 24 to 28K or 24 to 30K. Um, if that were to play out all right guys so we'll look at the bitcoin long positions the four hour we have been seeing a nice increase in long of course the price is dumping so the long positions start to increase as buy limits get hit but we are also seeing an increase in the short positions which is a bit of a bearish indicator guys as we are dropping the shorts are still increasing if we look at the crypto fear greed index guys extreme fear 19 and if we go back here the last time we were this low on the crypto fear index was our crash over the summertime and we're back down to those levels again so in my opinion bitcoin does need to hold this support and bounce here if we break below it and we can't get back above it it confirms the bear market in my opinion but i am expecting at least a relief rally or a dead cat bounce before confirming a bear market or we bounce and see continuation up to 68k but sooner than later in my opinion we are going to see a nice bounce what i'm hoping is we hold 38k We've wicked down and we've liquidated a lot of the over leveraged long positions. So hopefully we can see a nice bounce. But if we fail to get back above 40K before Sunday, guys, it's pretty bearish in my opinion. I'm just trying to be real with you guys. So we'll finish off the video for Matic. Of course, we're always prepared with our dollar cost average strategy. We've had three entries. Our break even is 211. If we do come lower, guys, and then we have 151, 125, 107. I have a buy zone all the way down here at about 74, 75 cents. Equal amounts at each buy zone brings down your average price halfway each time. If you're leverage trading, double your margin and just keep an eye on this head and shoulders pattern as we have broke the neckline. Your technical target is down here at about 143, but I am anticipating at least a little bit of a relief rally. If you want early access to these charts as well as 1,000 members talking all things crypto, you can sign up to the Discord. It's the price of a coffee. And um, we have all the DCA charts, and then we have members posting chart patterns, talking all things crypto. You really can't beat it, guys. 350 USD. If you want to trade with me, sign up to Bybit, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, much love. Take care.